What's up guys, welcome back, Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Today, I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna try, and build a parking sensor pickup tool to diagnose the parking sensors. What we are gonna be using is a sensor that I bought off of Amazon. I think it was like three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But on these sensors, you can see looks like a, it looks like a speaker on the one side, and on the back, this one's got an R on it. This comes as a set. So, and then this one has a T. The T is kind of hard to see on that one, so I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that. I tried uh, testing this before building a tool um, and wasting my time or whatever, but I was testing it with the transmitter, the T, and not the receiver. So to build this tool, we are gonna want to use the receiver. And so, thanks Pedro. Got to give him a shout out for the tip on that because I was using the wrong one. So I was about to throw these things away. <laughs> but anyway, so what we have here, um, I got this and the sprinkler aisle at Lowe's. It comes, came as a long one. I cut 12 inches off. I wanted the threads on the one end because this is how I'm going to set it up. I had these laying around the laying around the, the house. Um, these fittings from when I was building my pressure transducer boxes, actually. I'll put a link to these up in the description too. But all this is is these weather pack connectors. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what you, what you want to call them, but what I found is. So you stick this right inside there, it's a nice fit. I mean, to me that looks pretty clean. So just helps protect it a little bit more because it's got this surrounding on it. So what my plan is, <laughs> like I said, I haven't built one, built one of these before. Taking you guys along for the ride for the first time. We're gonna see, but I, Essentially, I would like to get this inside here and drop down to where this pickup is flush right here. And then that way, put this onto the top for the protection. But essentially, what I'd like, you know, what I want to do, get the wires onto here, put that in there like I was saying, wires coming through. I got this cap, put the cap on the back, drill a hole for the wires to come through. And what I was thinking, excuse me, what I was thinking is having the bananas out the back here. That way your scope leads. I know like with my Pico or my Snap-on and stuff, they'll plug right onto it. Uh, so I just need a lead. And then like for my Pico or and my Snap-on, for example, I have 10 foot leads. That gives you a nice being able to walk around, not completely around the vehicle, but the back end of the vehicle and and probe probe these sensors. So the AES Wave sells a pickup tool. I think it's like twenty eight dollars. That's not expensive. I mean that's not that's not crazy. Um, that's doable. I wish most diagnostic tools were twenty eight dollars. Fortunately, anybody that works in cars knows that that's not true. So. Uh, but right now I have six bucks into this. Uh, so if it works, you know, money saved. So we're gonna see what happens.
All right, so got that hollowed out. Let's see if I can uh, make that sit a little bit different in there. But essentially, that's, uh, that's what it's going to look like. silicone based um, just seems like a good quality wire it's it almost feels like a test lead exactly like a test lead so now we are going to solder these wires on sure if you guys can see um, like I said this is the first time building it but how I'm gonna build it on the back here you see I have the receiver the R Not sure if you guys can pick it up but uh, this pin right here has got a black uh, like grommet or something on it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the black lead on this not sure if it I think this goes off of uh, AC voltage, but well, it's got to. So that's just how I'm gonna wire it, just so you guys know.
I'm gonna end up putting glue around this. And have it sit overnight, but have it completely flush. That didn't turn out so bad. Okay, so from here, I cut enough wire because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, so I wanted to have enough in the back. Alright, next we're going to drill a hole for those wires to be able to come through. So let's do that. Get you guys set up here. Okay. So right now I'm just feeding the wires through that hole. wires are nice nice and snug they're not too loose with the diameter of a drill bit that I used Got the sensor installed in the tip there. It's got a layer, you know, the layer of protection right here. I'm getting dropped or whatever. Uh, got the wires coming through, got the cap put on, got it wired in, heat shrink, and added on the bananas. So you just hook your test leads right into there. You have your wand and Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be good to go. All right guys, got the parking sensor hooked up to the scope. Got both leads hooked in. My regular Pico leads hooked into the Pico. Pico's hooked in to the laptop. and we will see if this thing works. So all I'm doing is getting close to the parking sensor and moving it away. And as I'm doing that, if you guys wanna watch the screen, all right, so we'll pause that. more and as you guys can see we are getting a signal from the parking sensors and I am on a 50 millivolt scale so this thing does work you can zoom back out each one of these blips is where I was
putting it close to the sensor so we can go in, go through, zoom in on each one of these. And see our signals. So six dollars into this tool and it does work. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Cody's Auto Diagnostics.